Incredible. Wow, thank you so much. So yeah, those of you who have never seen to hear in chat, now you have. <laughs> I liked Kamalev's comment of the, the funniest joke of the video is the idea that Russia would spend even a single ruble to rescue that man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm actually stunned how much of those I forgot. Like... What great Christmas movies. I should have watched those at Christmas. Insane. How did we get onto that again? I forget. But anyway. Happy New Year, everyone. Those of you in that particular time zone. Uh, there's only one thing to do now. <laughs> Please, immediately. As many as I can order. No, this is the piece of shit NATO one that got quick scoped. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I actually can't even... I can't even go on. I feel like I owe you guys another mission, but I can't even fucking go on. I do not know what to do after that. What did we just do? We just did an abduction, right? I actually can't remember what I was doing in XCOM. That's completely stunlocked me. Insane. Can we make it a tradition to watch the Here and Shep videos on the first of each new year? Maybe. Check back next year, if I haven't died to Black Mold, and, uh, yeah, maybe. Hopefully there'll be, like, more by then. I, I, I guess just click scan, I don't remember. I think just click scan. Ah, extraction squad, here we go. Covert extraction operation Fly and Hydra. Ah, here we go. After having so much fun... It's Excellent. time to have the least fun possible. Let's do it. To seeing your progress. Stream almost over. Yeah, we'll do like one more. Uh, we'll do this covered extraction, then do some strategy, and then that'll probably be it. Oh, that's right, because it, um... Uh, Barley says if I was rich, I'd make trams. And that that's what made me think of the Dahir Inshat trams. Yes, yes, I remember now. So it's Barley's fault. Thanks, Barley. That's what I'm getting out of that. Okay, we're gonna wait 10 hours at least. That was 40 minutes ago. It's all Barley's fault, folks. It feels longer, yeah. It feels like it was longer. Okay, um, strategy now, I guess. It's time for a Sionics lab. And a gene lab. The power is completed. I need more engineers for the Nexus. That'll be next month. What's this? Do you still need a repair bay to do mechs? Do I still need to build one of these? I can't remember. Counts as a workshop for adjacency benefits. It's just free adjacency as well, so that's nice. Yeah, you still need one for max. Okay. So yeah, let's let's do a repair bay and a workshop. You considering leaving it? Are we going to cut it out? I think that the here in chat section should be its own vod. I think the YouTube, I think twenty twenty three should be the year of us trying to welcome the YouTube watchers into our close knit Twitch community. And I think the first step we do is not exclude them from the Dahir in chat videos. Alright, repair bay. Workshop. We are we are getting it done. I'm not gonna have enough power for everything though. I need eight power for the Nexus. So if I build another workshop, that's four. Eight. Is that gonna be enough power? That's gonna be ninety-nine. 100, 101, 102. I'm one power off. Shit. Reduces item cost. Maybe I should build two workshops first instead. Cancel the repair bay. 
four power. Maybe just build another workshop instead. Next, so yeah, we'll build the repair bay after. I just want to get the workshop done. F Why do I want to get the workshop done first? No good reason. Can't sell meld. Literally cannot sell that right now. But we can sell a couple of these ones. Oh no, but we need the we need the repair bay anyway. So yeah, that's right. I I I because I won't have enough power. Fuck, that's annoying. I'm gonna have to get rid of an uplink, but I need to build a nexus Satellite first. Okay, so I guess what I'm gonna end up having to do capacity. additional uplink required is build the nexus, then delete the satellite uplink, then have enough power to build the last workshop. But it means we're not gonna have like a block up in time for Gauss or Mechs properly. You know what I mean? Which is unfortunate. Unless I just start building like another fission generator like right now. I guess I could build another fission generator like here. Yeah, that could work because repair is quicker. That could work. Okay, do the workshop first thing because it's gonna take longer. Yeah. Am I researching Max yet? No, but I'm about to be. I need to get money for all of this shit at once. I need to sell some power sources. Do all of that. Can't sell meld, so sell power sources. He's going to somewhere else. 95, I need like 25 more dollars. I can't remember if I need to spot for something, but I'm I'm too stupid to remember, so we're just gonna do this. I'm sure it's fine. I am certain this is fine. And then with a the fission generator, we'll be able to build a repair bay and a satellite nexus. Hey, we'll work it out later. This one will come back to bite me later. It's fine. We are confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. Who do I even send on these anymore? I need a officer medic. That's like mandatory. Do I have an officer medic? Shot, I do not. That's really bad. It's like mandatory to take an officer on these. You cannot not do it. You need an officer. And yet, Daddy does not have one. That is very bad. That is very, very, very bad. I'm gonna have to fatigue someone. Because you can't not send an officer. You need officers on these missions to make them work. They're literally the difference between the mission works or not. I'm just gonna have to fatigue someone. Rip. That sucks. Excellent. We look forward to seeing you. Scrojo, you gotta go on the mission. You gotta make it work. And then send like an engineer, I guess. Fifteen hours for JRJ. Okay, wait, fifteen hours for JRJ? It's like I've suddenly been hit by the fatigue spiral. Luckily nothing else will happen. Where is JRJ? Okay, that's done. More damage and recover more allies in Illyrium. Yep. Now we're not gonna have the repair bay up in time to start mecking by seven days. Does that mean we go for Gauss first? Within two days we can get the repair bay built. We want to aim for stuff to be completing in 21 days, not before. Because we want to get our refunds. Let's see. So I think going for... Gauss next makes more sense because then that's done in 12 days and we can time it so the guns are done just in time. Then we do Alien Biosemantics afterwards. And then we're building those suits and stuff at the same time, I guess. That, I guess, makes sense. Okay, so it's Gauss next then. It's kind of like going the opposite of what I was originally planning, but I really am greedy for these refunds. I need these refunds, you know? 
Okay, Jerry, 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 you ready yet? Two hours. We've waited a whole day now. We are confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. Our poor covered operative pinned down, bleeding. Inside a bombed out coffee shop. Won't someone save our operative? Maybe you have a coffin bed on a ship trailer? Oh, I got Grey 2W back during all that waiting too. Repair, I need to save you for a real mission. Joe, JJ. Uh, we'll send... Camelith? We'll send Bender. And we'll send the medic, which we needed was the whole point. The hours. Okay, make items available. Squill it at one. All right. And hopefully it's as bloodless as they usually are. Let's go out there and find out, I guess. Down. This one can We're be alright. This map can be alright. Exalt has a cell working from inside Depends. their borders. We'll see where Strike the transmitters are. Cover while our operative acquires the Exalt intelligence we after. I think this mission usually turns out alright, this map. Field operative was detected by Exalt forces while in the process of mining some Please valuable intel from their com relays. Strike One will need to protect the operative while they finish decrypting the Exalt data from the other relays. If the operative goes down, yeah. there's any chance of recovering that intel. We have a new objective. That one's not great. Pop the trackers. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. This does not look good. Okay, so we got guys over here, but also over here, which is going to make it really fucking hard to get to this one without activating first. What I need to try to do is ideally, obviously, get to this one without activating anyone, and then have a blue move to activate it, then run all the way to here. Hit this one ideally on a blue. Um, or even if you don't activate, just run to this door, and then hit this one on a blue and then activate it and get out. What's more likely to happen with the way these guys are arranged is I'm gonna activate trying to get to one of them and it's all gonna go wrong. I think what I can try to do is jump down the back and try to like sneak my way in in, an, in a coming turn. Nice bug droid, no it doesn't. But we're gonna do our best, all right? We're gonna do our level best. Come hide. Back here. Roger, tracking. Headed there now. Okay. What if someone backported X2 consumer for these ops? What if someone just removed these ops? That's also a, an option. Okay, now don't go near them fuckers. Don't go near them fuckers. Just go like this. Heading to that location. And we'll go to here. We'll do. Now at minimum I should have Come quite be able to get a blue in, but that's not ideal. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, that's worse. Oh, Jesus, that's worse. Okay. So if I go to here... Then I go back out. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Boom. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 
Then you use run and gun next turn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Surely you hit that one, no problem. You run and gun it. But you have to run and gun it. So then you hack that one. Then you're going. You, you can't make it to evac then is the problem. You can't make it that far. That's why to make this work right, you really want to not trigger anything. But it's going to be pretty fucking hard. I mean, I'm already in, like, my worst case here, so you just stay there now. And we wait and see if, like, they move off, I guess. But they're probably not going to. Meanwhile, over here... Oh, I have Commando! Remember, I have Command that makes these missions work. So hang on, actually count that out. Because Command. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, with command, maybe we're fine. If I'm not miscounting here, with command, maybe we're actually fine. That's why command is like the the kill or be killed of these missions. You gotta back up more, because those fucks are gonna try and get us. Like, back up into the corner of the map, so hopefully they don't see us. Head into that location. Got it covered. Okay. Moving out. We're around a motion tracking too, unfortunately. I'm on the watch. You can't account for, like, Overwatch drop-ins, but I think we might have a path to victory uh -huh. here, worst case. I've got a prize to Overwatch. I should have just sent four ships. No, but she was going to have command, I suppose. I feel like I'm not going to get away with this. What are they doing? They're moving left a little bit, are they? Are they? Right now they're like here. I'm probably not going to get to get this the way I want it. You can move really fucking far. I can probably do this. I can probably go one, hack, two, run and gun, hack, run, command, get out. Like, here to here is like there to there. I can probably do it. I can probably do it, guys. But I just want to see if I can luck out and like, get in about activating them. But I don't think it's worth the risk because now I haven't got a motion tracker, I have to play that by ear. Scout doesn't have scanners. And so if I try to like sneak in through here and it fucks up, then I have to use my running gun to get the hack. Which then means that I don't have run and gun to get in. I think I just gotta like go for it. And just get this mission done, yeah? I think that's how it's gotta be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, seventeen, eighteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know if I can make it back to back, actually. I might have been overestimating my ability to move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Like, of enough diagonals, maybe I'm like overestimating my abilities here, which is fucking scary. Because if I can't make that hack, we're all in some shit. I'm 
I'm gonna have to charge him when I go loud here. Isn't there a back door you can cut through? Yes, but it just so happens there's also a pot over there. It just so happens. Around here. Oh, what makes this mission harder is usually this one is like a little happier, like it's this one, and you can just go boom, boom, and you're fine. This one makes it a bit more difficult. A disabled pod? What do you mean? They'll still see me. And once they see you, they start reloading, which is what makes it sticky to get out. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, they are fucking close, goddammit. Aye, aye, Commander. I'm on the move. Getting it done. On overwatch. Got it covered. Got it covered. Round to that. Scan it. Round to that. <laughs> Yeah, but if you do the full run plan, you're just disabling it immediately. Yeah, but then you you got to count your turns in advance of this mission type. So the thing is, if we can't chain the transmitters back to back, it becomes a big issue. As you'll see if we end up not being able to do it. Hopefully we'll be able to pull it off. But that's really what the victory... These, these missions are very binary. That's what the victory in the these missions comes down to is can you pull that off? These guys just aren't moving, so I think we just have to go with it. Like, fuck it. And let's just find out, okay? Let's just find out if I can do it. Okay. Fuck it. Because they're just camping me out. The exalt com relays, ah, the bitch got in the way. To the that really doesn't data. help. This is a really bad one, man. This is not a good situation. This guy got in the way, which makes it even worse. It cuts off precious mobility here. That comm relay is down, Commander. Our operative hacked the system and decrypted some of their data, while also disrupting Exalt's communications. We should continue looking for any other relays. I do not know if I'm going to be able to make it from here to here in a run and gun. I fucking hope so, but I'm actually quite worried. As a fullback, I'm going to have to have the medic come up and prepare to maybe use command. But you can't use command with run and gun, so... Yeah. Meanwhile, we need to, like, engage from the rear. Because we're committed now, but like I said, I mean, it wasn't going to get any better, but... Like I said, this one might just have rolled shit. Let's move up and see. Rolling. We're just gonna dash you up. I, I had hit and run I probably could have used, but I think the ammo will be better spent in a second. Hit and run might end up being really pivotal here. Solid okay, we'll move you up to here. And get ready for it. If this run fails, I wonder what we'll see next week instead of Long War. Uh, no. Nah. After, after that really bad one, I think I just go into these covered extractions just expecting that I can just roll a dead operative or dead team. Um, get the infantry here, ready to just, like, slap everyone. Hopefully, or can you shoot someone from here? Can we get, like, any shots? Okay, we can shoot you. It's better than nothing. On my way. I'm gonna need to move Brit up to get ready to potentially, like, command here. For maybe maybe the hack, but that won't help. You shoot. Because I feel like we're going to have to get in a fight here. Kill confirmed. I have shots there. It's not maybe not getting grenades, but it might actually be more pivotal to get the engineer to here to blow up this shit to maybe make this shit work. I probably need to get the engineer up here just so they can grenade this fucking shit. Got it. Move it. And it might I might be able to blast core this shit. 
there's a reference nobody was expecting. He might be able to, like, clear a path. It really does suck that guy got in the way. You come here. I think this is ahead of here. It's... Two more diagonals. No, this might be actually closer. Because it's less diagonals. It's the same amount of diagonals either way, right? Which is closer in the in the long run. Maybe like here. Yeah, maybe like here. Just to check, they are all hacked, right? Yeah, all hacked. Okay, this is where it's gonna get fucking hairy. Let's go. These are the guys who meant we couldn't go around the back. Well, here's here's the guy, the one guy. <laughs> Eight active enemies right now, I think. Pray that we can hit the transmitters in time. That's all it's gonna come down to, and like no like heavy Overwatch drops, please. They're this is this is complicated enough. Hello, sniper. Nine. Ten. Oh, easily, easily, easily. I underestimated. I got a little bit scared from one of my previews. I underestimated how far we can move. Okay, we're fine. It's all about the mobility, folks. All about the mobility. Okay. Just running, going over here. Hack this. And then we are running and hopefully going to be able to get commanded out next turn. Might even, like... I can't want to like blow this up to help, but it might set fires that actually hinder. So, run and gun. Go get this one. That's all the data we're going to get, Commander. Now we just need to get our operative to the evac point for extraction. Everybody, get ready to evac. So we get one hit and run, yeah. Your first initial against an uncovered or flank target. Yep. Shoot this fucker. I'm about to start keeping score. And then fall back. You can make it to evac right now, so you can actually literally just stay there, I guess. You just gotta make it to the LZ next turn. As do you need to be back there now. But you can stay there this turn and then just run it next turn. Right? That's no worries. Same as you, Jared, JJ, you can do the same thing. Uh, Bender, I guess, can do a similar thing as well. Overwatch drops, though, yeah, but we're going to have to run him with the operative anyway, so it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Where can I get a shot on you? Just there. On my way. And shoot you. Not quite dead. Yeah, you're in the mission, JJJ. You're on the evac team right now. Scourger, we want to bring back so that Scourger's ready to command you um, out. Confirmed. Which is going to be, like, pivotal here. So we'll move you back next turn and then command of you. I'll bring up JJJ. Neutralized. You're out next turn, no worries. You can try and shoot another one if you like. But they don't really matter. Probably the only person that could really matter is a drop-in, so we'll probably just bring you back and overwatch you. Watch. 
Oh, no watch. Or should I smoke? If you don't end up being able to make it the whole way, you're going to end up here. So maybe pre-smoke just in case, but that's asking for fucking trouble because you're going to get rocketed and shit. Overwatching is probably the better bet. I'm sorry that I take longer than I need to, like, on simple turns on missions like this, but it always worries me because, like, if you do one thing wrong, you just lose the whole mission on these missions. So, like, I think very carefully over and over. Like, I triple check my mind for these things just to be, like, triple, triple, triple safe. Because it's so annoying, obviously, if, like, you just fuck up, your brain fucks up, and then you just, like, lose a whole, like, bunch of people to, for no reason. Uh, and it really is just do one wrong thing and you lose these missions. With the operative, that is. Hello, Evie. Hello, Evie. Alright. And you should have the mobility to get out. Yeah, we sh- Oh, God! Maybe? Maybe not. Actually, that's fucking frightening. This is why I should have pre-smoked. Because there's actually no heavies nearby right now. Oh shit, I actually don't know if I'm going to make that. Probably going to make that? I mean, you can make that and you have 14 mobility, so yeah, easy. Easily, 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 easily. What am I talking about? I always underestimate the mobility of these guys. So we're just going to go with you to here. Let's do this. It's just so much mobility, man, you know what I mean? But yeah, we're fine, we're fine. Scrooge comes here. Scrooge commands the op. We're out. No Scrooge sweating yet. No sweating yet. We've secured a covert operative along with the new data at the extraction point. Strike one can either head to the evac zone to return to each. The fact now, that the scout can make it, yeah, easy, easy, from easy. Any remaining hostiles. Get the fuck out of here. Also, just inside the extraction zone, ready to extract. Goodbye. Nice, quick, and easy. Those things just raise my stress level for no reason. More naked, more speed, maybe. Maybe it, maybe I should be running the operatives with, like, no no armor. Well, the respirator already is like that, I guess, and the motion tracker is critical. Good stuff. Easy, easy. Thank you, Scrojo. Only have for days, eight days. That's a nice roll, too. We got a repair engine now. That's great. Intel decrypted. Possible exalt base locations narrowed. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. 155 bucks, what do I want to spend it on? Bounty says, the problem with the armor is the risk of the aberration. Also true, yeah. But the exit will actually get a turn of shoot. Yeah, also true. But respirators are free mobility anyway, so it's kind of moot. I guess if you get tack rigging and exit still around, you know. I guess you could, like, put walker servos on instead. Um, I don't think there's anything else I want to buy. I'm just saving that for, yeah, for the repair bay, as chat's saying. Okay, boom. And saving for like nexuses and stuff, yeah. Save money for quadcopters, exactly. Okay, so probably like 24th, 25th of July, we want to think about another exalt covert scan. We'll need money for that too. Um, for now, just scanning on, I guess. Oh, we have UFO countermeasures coming, that'll be nice. Excavation complete. That's done, which means we can get a repair bay going. Cool. And there's your terror mission in Rio de Janeiro. It's next time. Now, I don't know if I'll be playing a third day of XCOM this weekend tomorrow, or if I might come back with some Rose Sigma or something tomorrow instead. Maybe even Dark Tide. Maybe even a little treating myself some Dark Tide. But, um. We'll see. It might be more of this tomorrow. It might be more Rose Sigma tomorrow. It might be something completely different, like End State. It might be Dark Tide. Don't know. But XCOM is back. At the very least, I'll definitely be XCOM next weekend as well. XCOM is back. We're back. It's back to stay, folks. Welcome to the new year. Welcome to 2023. Doxon says, looks at Beagle's base. Alien containment that close to the surface makes me nervous. Gotta go deep. Yeah, you're right. They're, they're gonna escape right away. You're right. That's how I build my room world bases too. Who's ready for this? 
Uh, you got some decent people ready for this one. Rose Sigma's gonna be interesting. Well, I've got the Rose Sigma um, brutal AI on right now, so it, it is gonna be different. Um, they could they they can do all that crazy shit. Like they can work as a team, use use spotters and fire from outside a loss. Um, they're already way fucking better at using Psy and grenades and shit. They can like pre prime prime grenades and shit. Beagle, have you ever played Dwarf Fortress? I did, and I didn't really find it was for me. Alright. Well, that's Long War for the day. Hope you enjoy getting back into the XCOM. Did you guys like getting back into the XCOM? It's like asking a bunch of children, are you ready for Santa Claus to come out? Yeah! Like, I, I, I don't know. Why do I say that shit? I know what you guys are going to say. Um, thank you very much for the subs and dubs. Let's read them out. Did I get any fan art today? I should check that too. A professional year for me. Oh, I just tabbed out, and the first thing I seen was every hit will be a nice surprise, Jagged Alliance 3. God damn it. <laughs> Don't remind me. Fan art gallery. No, no fan art. Easy. Easy. Alright. is glad to be a part of it, even as a sniper. <laughs> yeah, it'll be a new game for Rose Sigma. Yeah, it'll be a new Scions run, most likely. I really enjoyed Scions, so it'll be another one of that. Can I thank... Thank you very much to... Astra Ambulance for the 62 months in a row sub. Spaghetti Time 85 for the 51 months. Frangible Cover subscribe to Twitch Prime. Thank you, Frangible Cover. Welcome. Rice Pound a $5 donation. Camilla $15 donation. Uh, who said F word. The F word, of course, for today was fun, folks. Croker $50 donation. Thank you, Croker, again for the $50 donation. You're the best beagle. Thank you so much. It's so nice. Big generous donation. Thank you. Morally, two months sub. Spooner 38 months sub. Iglog, 82 months. Biggest Piggus, 49 months. XCOM Please Dad, 37 months. Aggressive Time Killer, 7 months. Askance, thank you again for the big raid of a party of 189. Any Askance viewers still here? Hope you enjoyed yourselves. Thanks for the giant raid, honestly. It's really big. Thank you. Appreciate it a lot. Lollipop, 095, $15. Happy Year of Talisman, maybe. Cool Goats, subscribe for 33 months. Pogbones, thank you very much. Sinless, 5 month sub. Tesla Matt, 21 month sub. Decay, 382, $25. Happy New Year, Bigs. Happy New Year, Decay. Thank you very much for that. Appreciate it a lot. Very kind. And self harmonized gifted 20 subs as well. The Jason WFD, Lux Manifestus, Michael V. Ye, KD Ports, 25, Ricochet 19, Zetanod, Nero Deviant, Freezer Man 47, Nero the Arsonist, Komonikov, Godhold, Lope, Fidgetus, Lopopopopopopopo, Eclectic Bibliophile, Dersaboom, Beater, The Jersey Driver, TNX Yankee, Alien 314, and 123 Rick 321. Thank you very much, self harmonizer, here at the community, for your 20 gift subs. Super kind of you. Thank you so much. Very, very kind. Appreciate it. Thank you. Katoria says no Happy New Year to Kadia though. What are, you're obsessed with Kadia. We're gonna raid someone. The raid word, of course, is Happy New Year. Or um Good news, Gordon. We've destroyed the entire US military. Who are we gonna raid? I see over Easy's doing art again. Maybe we'll raid her for a little Happy New Year stream. What is she? Oh yeah. Here's what she's up to. So there you go. We'll, we'll go over here then. I just feel like there's not enough words. If you haven't raided uh, over easy eggs before, make sure to type in exclamation mark PP when you get in chat, like I'm going to do right here. 18.2, nice. Nice, sweet, let's go. Okay, gonna, gonna raid on that one. Very nice. Alright, enjoy yourselves. Um, Eggs is a cool streamer we found a couple of months ago. She plays Tarkov, she plays a lot of different games. Uh, and she does art, she's pretty cool. Um, what else is there to say? I'll see you tomorrow for more video games. Bye bye everyone. Have a good one. Uh, enjoy your raid. Happy New Year to Eggs. Happy New Year to all of you. Thank you for being here for the Happy New Year. Uh, I appreciate those of you who chose to spend your time with me for New Year's. Thank you very much. We're good to have it together. Um... And we got to start out to hear in chat New Year's tradition, I guess. I'll see you guys tomorrow. This is going nowhere fast. See you guys tomorrow for more. Maybe XCOM, maybe Rift Sigma, maybe something completely different. Maybe Dark Tide. Bye bye, everyone. Have a wonderful one. And see you in the Discord. See you tomorrow. Thanks for subscribing and subs uh, do donating. See you later, everyone. Have a good one. Bye bye. Happy New Year's, Druid. I'm really glad you met us, too.